Happy New Year, Friar fans, and welcome to this week in Friars Hockey, presented by Cox. I'm Nick Rojas. The Friars are up in Hanover, New Hampshire this past weekend for the Ledyard Classic at Thompson Arena. They found themselves down in both games to both Brown and Dartmouth, but were able to turn things around and win the Ledyard Classic title. On today's edition of the show, we are joined by Coach Lehman to wrap up this past weekend and look ahead to the second half of the season. Let's start the show. We're back in 2019, joined by the head coach of the men's ice hockey team, Coach Lehman. Coach, it's good to have you back. How was Christmas with the it family? It was great. It was great. Uh, three young boys. They had a heck of a time. Um, it was good family time. And I see you got another cardigan from Santa. Another cardigan. You know, the Mr. Rogers collection always coming in clutch here. So thank you, Coach. I'm glad Santa brought you your 300th win as well. So wrap it Somebody had to. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go back, actually. Let's summarize this past weekend. You're down in both games and things start to flip. Yeah. How would you characterize this weekend? Well, it's, that, that's what's good about it. You know, the, the UNH game was really healthy for us when we were down 2-1 uh, late, or down one nothing late in the third and found a way to win 2-1. And this game was, you know, the Brown game going down one nothing going in the third. I mean, we, were, we, we had the puck a lot and we were getting some chances, but we weren't really getting to the net. Um, and I thought we got to the net well in the third period and, and found a way to win the game. And, and the same thing against Dartmouth, being down after the first period and, and being able to win. Just good growth by our team, you know, really good growth, uh, you know, for our guys that we're getting rewarded by coming back. You know, when earlier in the year we came back a couple of times, but we didn't get rewarded. And now your top two lines have been performing well for you so far this season. 58 points for your first line in 18 games, and then this past weekend your second line chipping in. How did they set the tone for your team? Well, I mean, Wilkie, Doogie, and Casper, they complement each other pretty well. Um, you know, and, and for to have Wilkie going as well as he is right now, is the, you know, moving him to the middle, I think that's just kind of helped his game a little bit. Um, and our second line, you know, Conway being the MVP of the tournament, he's playing a really good 200-foot game right now, and, and he's getting rewarded for it. So that was really, you know, as a coach, you're really happy for him because he's, he's made some adjustments to his game. He's... Um, but now he's scoring and, he, and he's getting to the net, which is good. Um, and I think, you know, a third line, uh, I think we can get our third line going too. I mean, Prince, he's got seven goals and um, he's a guy that I think all of his goals have been even strength. So, uh, you know, we're trying to find ways to maybe get him more ice or, or get him more pucks because he's, he's shown that, you know, his, uh, he can score this year. And so far in the first half of the season, you've been on the road for most of the first half of the season. Now, switching things into the second half, it's much more of a home favorable schedule. How do you take what you've learned on the road and translate that into a home game? That's a good question. I mean, that's, uh, we, you know, because we haven't played at home as much, you don't want the guys to get out of their element. You know, a lot of times you go on the road and, and you know you have to be a pretty detailed uh, team and uh, to win. But the biggest thing I think we could take out of it is just the mental toughness that it takes to win. And, um, you know, and bring that home. I know the guys are looking forward to playing at home this weekend against Miami, and then obviously when our students get back, um, I think they're really going to be looking forward to playing at home. we got some big games in the second half at home, so we're going to need those fans, we're going to need our students, but, you know, from a program standpoint and the guy standpoint, we'll take the mental toughness we've learned from the road and, and playing as a team in a group of five and bring that home. Final bit of news, the Koopmans joined the team, the Twins, Matt and Kyle. Matt actually played late in the game when you're trying to close things out against Brown. How does that show your trust early on in him? Well, and, and that's the plan, you know, that just so you know. Like Matt, you know, is, is we needed depth up front, so we brought Matt in to, to kind of play. And Kyle we've kind of brought in to, you know, get – adjusted to Division One hockey, um, get his feet underneath him. We're not planning on him playing in the first half, uh, but obviously if we have injuries or something, he's there. But our goal is just to maintain his eligibility, maintain his four years. So um, next year he'll have four years of eligibility. Uh, but Kyle, I mean, a lot of speed, a lot of tenacity. He's shown he's got a good stick. He's scoring in practice. He missed a couple of good opportunities on the weekend, but exactly what the team needed right now is we needed more speed, we needed more tenacity, and he's provided both of those. Well, Coach, thank you for your time and good luck this weekend. Thanks, Nick. For a preview of the matchup with the Red Hawks, we set it down now to Mike DeMars. Mike? Thanks, Nick. The Friars return to Schneider Arena on Friday for the first time since November as they host Miami University in a two-game set. The Red Hawks are 9-6-3 and three on the season, with one of those defeats coming at the hands of the Friars back in October at the Icebreaker Tournament. 
Senior Josh Melnick leads the Red Hawks with 17 points. 15 of those points have come in the last 10 games. The Annandale, New Jersey native has 98 career points and is looking to become the 52nd Miami skater to record 100 points. The Red Hawks have received strong play from both their defensemen and their freshman class. The Miami Blue Liners have scored 10 goals and notched 30 assists, good for 40 points on the season. The freshman class is tied for ninth in the country with 41 points. Derek Dashke leads the freshman in scoring with 12 points and also leads all Red Hawks with a plus 10 rating. That's your weekend preview. Sending it back to you, Nick. Thank you so much, Mike. That's going to just about wrap up today's edition of the show. Thank you to Coach Lehman for joining us. Friday and Saturday night's games are both here at Schneider Arena. Tickets are on sale now. They both start at 7 p.m. Friday night's game is available on Friars.com. If you come to the game, you can also get your 2019 calendar, so you want to get on that. Saturday night's game is on NBC Sports Boston, and both games are on the radio on News Radio 104.7 FM. For all the post pictures, updates, and more, head to Friars.com and follow the team on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thank you so much for watching This Week in Friars Hockey. We'll see you next time. Have a great day.